Hello there, our beautiful friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I've got my wonderful husband, Paul, here joining us today for our full moon ritual. So it's nice to have as many people as we can to bring the light in this evening. So what we're going to do here is I've got a jam-packed, we've got a jam-packed session here for you. We're going to first start off with a uh, breathing exercise mm -hmm. to ground our energies. And then I'm going to read uh, collective messages for everyone today, followed by releasing and letting go. So we're going to get a sheet of paper, a pen, and we're going to write down things that uh, we're holding on to, things that we need to release and let go of in our lives. And then uh, we're going to set an intention, light a candle tonight as well together. Mm -hmm. After that, we are going to read all signs, uh, tarot readings today cool. with all this selection of cards. So, and at the very end, we are going to pull the strings of abundance. So how exciting is that? So we are super excited for this today. So let's start off everyone with a breathing exercise. So we're going to take three deep breaths in. The first one, just take a normal breath in and then out. The second one, even deeper, hold, release. And then the third one, we're going to hold it as uh, long as we can and then release. All right, ready? Okay. All right, so first breath in. And release. Second breath in. And release. All right, now we're going to take a deep, deep breath in. As far as you can go with this. Hold it. And let's release. Whew. Do any of you have a dizzy spell? I sure do. What about you? <laughs> I sure do, Rhea. It happens every time. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do now is pull some collective messages All for right. everyone. Sweet. Now, I'm going to get Paul, you to do this. You can shuffle these okay. and pull them. And what we're going to do is show the image part first to the viewers. And then we'll read what's on the back of these cards. Okay. So three cards for today, just to start for the collective. Now, the full moon in the sign of Virgo um, is asking us to really be serious about our lives. Um, the full moon actually gives us an opportunity to check in with ourselves, release and let go of all that no longer serves our higher purpose. It's kind of like a course correction mm -hmm. where we're able to kind of take a look at things. This is what the Virgo sign is about, is really looking deep into what we need to actually change the things that are more in alignment with our journeys and what we need to do in order to reach them. So this moon is allowing us to do that. It's allowing light to come in. So just manifesting those goals and aiming um, for those accomplishments. Cool. All right. So this is the first card we are getting, which is called Wonder. Mm. So the message on this card, I'm going to actually have Paul read you this. Really? Yes, you get to read this. Okay. One. Wonder. Miracles are everywhere. Remember your childlike awe. Everything is in perfect order. Broaden your perspective. Trust in divine harmony. So look at this. There's wonder in everyone's lives and miracles are everywhere. It's about heightening our senses and becoming aware mm -hmm. of these wonders. So allow yourself to be open and receptive to let that energy in. And you're going to see where it kind of leads you. Mm -hmm. So next is potential. Potential. Oh, sorry there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Set your intention clearly. Unite inspiration and motivation. Start simply and build organically. Allow your goals to evolve, create what you desire, and most important, begin. It's all about taking that first step. The potential is limitless for you. So again, setting those intentions with clarity and understanding what it is that you actually want in your life. This is where it uh, really kind of um, asks us to dig deep and understand mm -hmm. what that, that is actually. And I love this one. Devotion. Devotion. 
Take joy in the process. Creativity is meditation. Have intention in every action. Mm -hmm. Do what feeds your soul. And practice patience. And having patience is actually a superpower. I think that sometimes we have to acquire it through our life's experiences. Or do you think people are naturally gifted with patience? No, I think, well, I think people used to have more patience, but because of the speed of life right yeah. now, with everything being in convenience culture, everyone, the more you get stuff at the speed of thought or as quickly as you ask for mm -hmm. it, the more you expect it to come. And a lot of times the universe doesn't run on the convenience schedule. Like it the takes instant its, gratification Yeah, if, if you're conditioned of? with instant gratification, you're probably going to be more annoyed that you have to wait. Yeah. And so in that way, patience becomes like a virtue because mm -hmm. it's something you have to practice. And uh, Practice makes perfect though, right? It Patience usually pays off. It does. And look at this. We have someone um, tapping into their creativity. So devote yourself uh, to expressing yourself through creativity, whatever form of creativity you choose uh, to express, however that is. Yeah, I think that's the other thing they're talking about with patience is anyone who's ever created anything knows that it doesn't just happen in five seconds. It's, yeah. it's a process to get something from the very beginning from an idea stage all the way across the finish line to the completion stage. Yeah. And you can want to rush that process and look for shortcuts and cheat codes and it's like you got to respect the process it takes as long as it takes to get from a to b a to, to, b, to, to z c, yeah. to wherever you're going exactly so practicing patient things take time sometimes right so what we're going to do now is i've actually written all of um our itinerary on a sheet of paper mm -hmm. here That's is smart. Uh, we're going to release and let go. So if you have a paper and a pen, we can go ahead and write down um, what it is that we want to release and let go of okay. in our life. What is it that you're wanting to surrender to as well that um, you know will help kind of move you forward, especially if we're in a stagnant place in our lives. Mm -hmm. I feel sometimes... I've seen people this uh, past month really struggling, so I feel that there's uh, this need to let go and shed some things out of our life. So whatever, whatever I want to let go of, yeah. throw it to the wind, I'm going to write down? You're going to write that down. Okay. So we are all going to do that today. So feel free to comment in the comment section as a form of release and letting go, okay? So as we're all doing this, I just wanted to uh, kind of give you a heads up on what we're doing here. I'm going to open everyone's readings when we do the all 12 signs with an oracle card from the Enchanted Oracle deck. Then we're going to pull a surrender card followed by a healing message. And then we are going to pull a reflection card, an oracle deck from the Soul Mirror Oracle deck where uh, we will read the interpretation to you. It comes with reflection messages. So uh, those of you that are wanting journaling prompts, these are in here as well for you. And then followed by an angel number today. So that is what uh, we have planned for you, all of you today. So let's write down what it is that we are um, trying to release and let go of. All right, I've got my... You are ready? Yeah. Everybody ready? We are going to actually fold these sheets of paper and we are going to tear them up. Doke. We practice this every month with our full moon rituals, but I feel it's always a good check in time to release and let go and allow new energy to come in. So we're going to tear these up, everyone. And we're going to toss these up into the air and just let them go. And I don't know why I always choose these heavy um, card stocks. Of, yeah, card stock for paper. It always because you really so want there to be a permanence to the message you're writing. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's extra tough. You get a workout when you have to tear it. I know. I think I have my fingers are getting a workout from this. So we're gonna go right. ahead and release this Ready? energy by just letting it go. And let's make sure there's nothing on our heads here. Nope, so nothing. Nothing yep, anywhere let's on Let's just me. throw that mess off the Ooh. table. We'll clear it off later, everyone. So there we go. We're good. All right. Yeah, I think you're good, honey. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is now that we've released all of that energy, mm -hmm. we are going to set intentions and yes. light candles. All right. We're going to allow these candles to burn until they burn out. Um, 
so let's set an intention yeah. everyone so let's take our candles visualize what it is that you're trying to aim for this can be a goal for this month this could be something overall for you for this year whatever it is that you're wanting to bring into your life this is like bringing light into your life so we're going to light this and uh, set that intention and put it aside okay so let's go ahead and light this candle and we're going to set our intention together honey yeah mm -hmm. ready So what I like to do is visualize what I'm uh, trying to manifest in my life. And then I kind of put it in that visualization into the flame. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to allow this to now burn until it burns out. So we're just going to leave that over there. And... Uh, let it do its magic. Do uh, sure, yeah. Let's pop that on camera if we can see that right over here. It's just at the bottom. Yeah. Or even like we could put it right there by Saraswati. Okay. All right. So let's just make sure um, you don't burn your hand. Yep. I think, <laughs> I think pretty safe. We're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. Cool. So allow that to burn and um, what happens is how we've experienced uh, intuition coming in or spirit channeling energy through us is through inspiration mm -hmm. through awareness so just being mindful of that and when you have ideas or inspiration coming in to write these things down we actually had this happen remember uh remember on february the second we burned a candle yes set intentions and within a couple of hours uh, All these we, different ideas came yeah. in and now we're cool. moving forward with those ideas. Mm -hmm. So this is how it works. So we're going to start with the sign of Capricorn. Okay. All right. So our beautiful Capricorn friends, how are you all doing today? We're going to go ahead and pull some cards for you. Um, we're going to open your reading today with an Oracle deck from the Enchanted Forest Oracle. So my love. Yes. We're going to get you to do this. Shuffle. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Paul's going to shuffle and read us the interpretation on these cards. And I would like you to carry these messages Ooh, around with you, out. Capricorn. Awesome. That's great. Okay. Is this the one? Yep. Okay. There you go. So. Now you're going to take a look at it. We've got no problem. Look at that. No, no problem. problem. And it says... You're not meant to struggle and fight your way through. Drop the concerns of your ego and watch imaginary walls crumble away. You've already won. Look at that. So no problem. Look at all of this light shining on this woman. So this is you allowing light to come in and release any energies that are holding on to you that are creating problems. You don't actually have any. So um, you're meant to uh, fight your way through here, everyone. So look at that Capricorn. You are a Capricorn. So <laughs> <laughs> our instinct is to fight our way through, but we don't need to because the problems are actually a lot of times self-imposed. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull a surrender card. So I'll do this part, okay, honey. Yeah. So what is it that you need to release and surrender out of your life? Capricorn, what is it that we can share with you today? All right. So surrender your belief in scarcity. So look at that. Surrender your belief in scarcity. Capricorn. So the message on this card is the universe is asking you to open to infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> so look at that. It's the oldest trope that Capricorns are very money concerned and <laughs> yes, often suffer from scarcity mindset. So the struggle is real. The struggle is real. <laughs> so I do my best. That. Yes. Yes, release. So we're now going to pull a healing message for you as well. So I'm going to have you do this okay. part, honey. Shuffle that deck. Ooh, almost in the pop home, but not quite. You can tell I do this a lot, right? <laughs> um, a professional shuffler. The best there is. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut that in half, and then put that there, and then draw one. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
we are getting you have already arrived and it's a cute little monkey like yeah. a curious george baby monkey you've already arrived the number is 56 it says what you desire is available to you now celebrate the beauty of this moment and the affirmation says i celebrate how far i've come so look at that, everyone. If you're seeing a monkey anywhere in your life, this is your confirmation today. The number 56 could be a number of significance for some of you, those of you looking for timing, 56 days, also five to six days, five to six weeks, and five to six months. Hmm. So carry this message around with you. If you're seeing a monkey or the number 56, fives and sixes, remember the healing message on this card today. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a card from this reflection deck. This is the Soul Mirror Oracle deck, and we're gonna have Paul read us the interpretation from the guidebook today. So okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a card and see what we get. I always find that these reflection decks are so perfect during the full moon. So things are going to come to surface here for all of us as well. This is what the moon does. It illuminates our path, brings things to the surface, you know, gets us to really look at where we need to change our life, where we need to course correct. So we're getting potential, confined and infinite. And we have all of the moons here, all the moon phases. Mm. So it's in uh, alphabetical order. Yeah, yeah. got it. Awesome. Yay! <laughs> so potential. Confined slash infinite. So I guess it shows a, a, a thing and then it's opposite? Yeah. Okay, that So makes the sense. polarities, right? Polarities, got it. A uh, collective shift towards higher consciousness is imminent. Delve into the depths of your soul to awaken the infinite power within. Become a beacon of inspiration, igniting the spark in others. Co-create a future that shines with boundless possibility. You are an immaculate creative being, crafting your experience in this lifetime through your learning, growth, evolution, and teachings. It's time to step into your heart space. Feel the call within to break free from illusionary confinements and limited ways of being. Empower yourself and others by tapping into your limitless power and harnessing your potential. Our potential is a combined energy. The beliefs and perceptions we hold about what is possible for us and for the world shapes the limits that we experience. When we accept these limits as truth, we internalize them and they become a part of our reality. This reality in turn is reflected in our thoughts, words, and actions, and is projected out into the world for others to see and experience. In this way, our personal limits have the power to shape the limits that others see and experience in this world. So we're in a pivotal time in our conscious evolution. There's so much unfolding and so much more to come. Now is the time for our potential to be unleashed. In doing this for yourself, you will mirror it to others and they too will be inspired and awakened. Our collective evolution and a beautiful, wondrous future are waiting for us all. Are you ready? Do you want me to read the reflection? Yeah, so there's a reflection message that comes with the journaling prompts, Capricorn, so feel free to write these down. The reflection says, is this the future that I and we want to see? How can I tap into my limitless power and unleash my potential? What steps can I take to inspire and awaken others to their own infinite potential? So there you have it. This is your reading Capricorn. I hope it resonated for you. If it did, please comment below and hit that like button. All right, we are now on to the sign of Aquarius. Are we doing so Oh, sorry. Yes, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's uh, do our angel number here for Capricorn before we start here. <laughs> Only so Only because I was interested yes, in Yes, of Celestial course. Angel oh number. my gosh. All right, so angel number, honey. Thank okay. you. Do you want to shovel that one? We can sort of alternate. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'm uh, totally being thrown, thrown off today. No, you're all good. <laughs> That's why it's good to do it together. Yes. All right. So Capricorn, what angel number are we receiving for you today? Sacred match. Two, 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 two. We just had the triple yep. two portal and there's two of us and hopefully there's two of you and many more of us out there. So sacred match is coming up. You are in vibrating harmony, Capricorn. The collaborations are very imminent at this time. Mm -hmm. Like you have the potential to collaborate. Um, keep going, keep moving. You're in balance and alignment. Right now you are planting seeds. 
and there is a union happening. This could be a connection to anything in your life, <laughs> yes. perhaps your spouse, right? So I also feel those of you that are single out there, there's a sacred match ready to enter your life as well. So if you're wanting to manifest love, mm -hmm. now's the time to do it. So look at that Capricorn sacred match. All right. Cool. So now we are on to the sign of Aquarius. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get Paul to okay. open up your reading here, Aquarius. So uh, welcome to your full moon ritual here, Aquarius. We are so happy to have you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that. And you've got Rejuvenate Yourself. Ooh, rejuvenate yourself. So this is asking you to really um, take a step back and recharge your energy. It says, know your limits and allow them to guide you. Limitation can teach you to take better care of yourself. You have full permission to rest and say no. And remember, everyone, no is a complete sentence. Don't ever be afraid to say no. If you don't want to do something, then don't do it. I always find sometimes that uh, pressure from friends or family, especially when they want you to do something. Yeah, kindness can be interpreted as weakness sometimes. And right. Sometimes out of self-preservation, you have to say no. Exactly. All right, so we're now going to pull a surrender card for you, Aquarius. What is it that my beautiful Aquarius friends need to release and let go of? What do you, do you need to surrender to? Mm -hmm. All right, split this deck. And I'll do this one. Yeah, go. Surrender frustration, Aquarius. Nice. So look at that. I'm going to read you the message on this card. So frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. So any frustration, it's okay to feel the feelings of frustration, but to release them, to allow those energies to pass through you rather than holding on to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is your surrender card. We're going to now do um, a healing message for you as well. This is going to be okay. Paul. Look at this mess we've created on this desk. <laughs> oh, hey. There we go. We have got Facing Stillness, number 16. Facing Stillness, and it's got a... Is that a fawn or a, a little baby deer? It looks like a baby deer, which I think is a fawn. Yeah. Uh, learn to cherish the quiet moments. Take time to slow down and simply be. The affirmation says, I relax into the stillness of the moment. Look at that. Facing Stillness. So... Those of you that are seeing a baby deer, a fawn, this is your confirmation today. Also the number 16. So this could be a number of significance. Uh, those of you looking for timing, 16 days, 16 weeks and 16 months with this card. All right. So if you're seeing this fawn or this number, remember the message of this card. So we're going to now pull a reflection card for you as well. Paul's going to read the interpretation from the guidebook. So... I love these cards. I love this deck. The full moon is a perfect time for reflection. So let's see what it is that uh, spirit would like you to know, Aquarius. All right. We are getting relationships, distant and connected. So look at that. Each relationship is a sacred offering that bestows upon you the precious gift of wisdom. Embrace these experiences with an open heart for they will guide you on a journey of self-discovery and transformation. Trust the divine timing and know that every encounter is shaping your soul's evolution. Your perspective of me is a reflection of you. Relationships, whether intimate, friendships, or family, are very close soul mirrors with whom we share our lives. These mirrors will reflect to you in immediate and often inescapable ways, prompting rapid learning and spiritual growth. Our triggers are highlighted through our interactions with others in order to be released and al alchemized into a loving state. This state can be achieved by either healing our own inner wounds or learning and acknowledging that we will and will not accept in our relationships with others. 
So we're going to share many relationships in this lifetime, as well as those lifetimes before and after. Each gifts us distinct jewels of wisdom and love over a soul contract period of time. Some of these may last a few seconds and others a lifetime or more. So give thanks to, for the reflections that they have shown you and rejoice in your life and the connections within it. And the journal prompts? So journaling prompts, uh, reflection messages here. So feel free to write these down, Aquarius. It says, what is holding me back from connection with myself and others? How can I use my relationships as opportunities for spiritual growth and self-discovery? What do I need to acknowledge or accept about myself and my relationships with others to cultivate true and deep connection? So there you have it, Aquarius, your soul mirror reflection message. So what we're gonna, going to do now is we're going to pull an angel number. Those of you that have been seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what we get here, Aquarius. All right, in good time, we've got 6666. So perhaps you're seeing these numbers. Mm -hmm. um, those of you looking for timing, six days, six weeks, six months with the message of this card. So things in your life are happening for a reason, Aquarius. You have support right now, whether it's through your loved ones, your friendships, or through spirit. You are uh, empathetic as well. So perhaps some of you are picking up on energies around you. Kindness is all around you, understanding, and you are in a waiting period. I feel some of you are in a waiting period. And remember that things are going to happen for you in good time. Trust the process. Flow with the energy. All right. So we are now on to the sign of Pisces. So hello, Pisces. How are you? We're going to have Paul pull your opening card today. So what I'd like you to do is carry this message with you, Pisces. All right. Oh, we got one who popped out. Oh, look at that. So this one says, don't hide. And it is a little fairy girl. A little a fairy creature, hat. right? Yeah. It says, don't hide. Dare to dream big. Remind yourself that everything is possible. Don't hide your talents and abilities, but use them to build your world. I love that. That's so profound. So don't hide yourself. This card is really asking you to live in your true authenticity. Don't hide that version of yourself. I feel you're going to see a lot of uh, beautiful things opening for you as you shine your light in the world. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull a surrender card. So... What is it that Pisces you need to surrender out of your life at this time? Okay, this card wants to come out. I'm going to go ahead and just use it. <laughs> surrender your need to always be right. Pisces, look at that. Surrender your need to always being right. So let's read the message on this card. Give others the gift of letting them be right, but be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. Wow. So... Isn't that powerful? Pisces, look at that. So we're going to go ahead and pull a healing message for you as well. Now, these cards have cute little animals on them and numbers. If you're seeing any of the animals or numbers on these cards, remember to um, uh, remember the messages on these cards. OK, so. Mm -hmm. Here we go. We've got love has no limits for you. And is that a chihuahua? It looks like a little chihuahua. It looks like a little chihuahua. So I don't know if any of you have a little chihuahua or if you've seen one. This is your confirmation We've today. We've seen a couple in the last couple of weeks. Yes, we have. In Mexico, actually. <laughs> We're just in Mexico. So uh, Love has no limits for you because life has an abundance of love in store for you. Let yourself receive it. Affirmation says, I am loved unconditionally, just like a cute little chihuahua. And what are the numbers on there? And we have the number 39 on this card. So perhaps you're seeing the number 39 somewhere in your life, threes and nines. Those of you looking for timing, I'm getting 39 days, also three to nine days, three to nine weeks, and three to nine months around this message. So yeah, little chihuahua. So cute. Yeah. So <laughs> there you have it. We're now going to pull... 
a reflection message. Now, these uh, Paul's going to read the interpretation from the guidebook. It comes with a reflection message, which you can use as journaling prompts. So feel free to write these down, Pisces. All right, so let's see what uh, Pisces needs to hear today. So peace, chaotic versus calm. I just opened right up to peace. That's there so great. There you go. Uh, all that unfolds in your life reflects a divine order and soul alignment. The illusions of the external world can be transcended by immersing in the stillness of your own heart. Let your soul's radiant calm shine forth and ripple into the world. Lovingly embrace the understanding that everything is in divine order and perfectly attuned to your soul and in all dimensions of time and space. This attunement is so precious because your physical life is your soul represented in the 3D reality. Here to see and comprehend as a human and then process and learn in our soul evolution. When you feel at peace, you ultimately surrender to all of you, acknowledging your life and fundamentally your true being. In perceived chaos, you're submitting to illusions and distractions outside of self, which will feel engulfing and out of control. Shift your focus into your own heart space and clear your energy by deeply looking inward to listen to your truth. If it comes from you, you will innately know the healing answer. Alternatively, you might find that the chaos is an illusion created by external attachments and that in fact, it isn't yours. This is a wonderful learning opportunity to practice recognizing your own cues and signs and to listen to your inner compass on the path to calm and peace within. Finding calm in yourself is the ultimate acknowledgement of your soul, for you have moved everything aside for your soul's truth to radiate and peacefully flow into the world. Divine energy flows through you, originating from your heart and self-awareness, then permeating your body, and finally expanding from your mind into the world. Embrace the power of calm that aligns with your soul's journey and project peace out into the world. And the soul reflection journal prompts say, how can I find calm and balance within myself, even amidst the chaos and turmoil of life? How can I cultivate a strong and stable center and rely on my own resources to navigate challenges and find calm and tranquility? Wow, that's beautiful. So peace and calm. And I feel that uh, absorbing this the light of the full moon uh, during February the 24th here, rather than... Um, the overwhelm with the emotions that sometimes come with that moon's energy, mm -hmm. right? That balance, finding that peace and calm within yourself. I it's, feel it's yeah, going to be very important. If you important. can let go, then yeah. you can find some of that peace. All right, we're now going to pull an angel number for you, Pisces. So those of you that have been seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what we get here for you today, Pisces. All right, we are getting foundation, the number four. So laying down some solid foundations, a solid base in all areas of your life. This is going to be very important. The number four in numerology is tied to security. It's uh, stability, foundations, also manifestations, being practical as well. So the message on this card, those of you looking for timing around this, four days, four weeks, and four months, building a solid base. This is what you need to do right now. This is in your physical body, in your health, your work, your relationships, home and values. And if you're able to lay those solid roots and stand, live in your integrity, that's where you're going to see the most success, growth and expansion in your life. So foundations, everyone. Very powerful. Right on. Okay, so we are now on to the sign of Aries. Hello, Aries. How are you, everyone? We're so happy to have you here today. So what we're going to do is have Paul open your reading with the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. So we were just in Mexico. We had a really good time there. We were going through a high as we entered that first week, and then both of us actually got sick which was that low in our life, and now we're home, we're going through a high. So life is full of highs and lows, right? Yeah, hills and valleys. Hills and, and valleys. when you encounter hills and valleys, let it be. It's just there the way go. of life. It, it comes with highs and lows. Let it be. If you need to solve a problem, ask yourself, what is the simplest way to proceed? 
When you call forth the simplest path, it appears, and vice versa. So you can make it as simple yeah. or as complicated as you want. The choice is yours. But you just got to let it be. Let things be here, Aries. Release that need to control right. sometimes, right? So I'm going to now pull a surrender card for you as well. So what is it that my beautiful Aries friends need to release surrender out of their lives? So let's take a look here, Aries. Surrender the drama. So I don't know if any of you are experiencing drama in your life, but it's now time to surrender drama. All right, so let's read the message on this card. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama, Aries. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. So whether this is in your relationships, uh, spouse, family, work, wherever it yeah. is, remain calm, Aries. All right, don't let the emotions get the best of you here. Because <laughs> we've got a wolf, see? There's wolves in the background. So, you know, we've got this full moon. This is when the werewolves come out. Yeah. That's usually our shadows, <laughs> right? Exactly. So the shadows come out. That's the drama that wants to get you involved and get you into trouble. Yeah. So be careful. See All right. We're going to now pull uh, a healing message for you, Aries. Now, these cards come with cute little animals and numbers on the cards. Anytime you see the numbers or animals, uh, remember the message on this card today, okay? We are getting open yourself to the present. And it is definitely a deer, deer of some fawn. kind. Deer fawn. Live in the here and now. Receive the gift this moment holds for you. And the affirmation says, I enjoy my life moment by moment. So live mindfully in the present. It's, uh, it's good to be in the here and now instead of dwelling exactly. on the past or worried about the future too much or the drama that yeah, comes with okay. either or <laughs> <laughs> we're getting future. wrapped up in the present drama yeah now um we have a little fawn deer on this card and we have the number 54 right. so the number 54 can be a number of significance for some of you those of you looking for timing 54 days or five to four days five to four weeks and five to four months all right, so that is your healing message. We're going to pull a reflection card from the Soul Mirror Oracle deck. Now, this deck comes with reflection messages, which you can use as journaling prompts. Paul's going to read the interpretation and those journaling prompts for all of you today. So let's see what we get. Okie doke. Teaching, withheld and giving. So look at that. My stomach's making noises. I thought that was my stomach. No, it's mine. <laughs> we never know whose stomach it is. <laughs> they talk the same language. All right, teaching, withheld and giving. Now is an opportunity to learn and teach, to receive from and give to the flow of the universe. Embrace the human experience of sacred learning in the 3D realm with an open heart and loving mindset and you will reap the benefits of the divine intelligence. Our lives flow in waves of experiences and circumstances, all of which offer a choice of teaching and learning or sharing, or withholding and ignoring. When you desire to share, you're giving the gift of knowledge and energetically opening yourself to learning. When you desire to withhold, you cut off your ability to receive, learn, and grow, removing yourself from that flow of knowledge. We're all here on earth to learn from each other and to teach. Our outer world is the inner world's most important teacher. It constantly reflects sacred knowledge for our expansion and healing as human beings in the most practical way. Being human gives us the opportunity to experience fast track learning through the heavier 3D realm, which is ever so clear and evident through our physical bodies. May we use our time here to share, teach, grow, and learn in all facets and blessings. The journal reflection prompt says, what actions can I take to open myself up and share with others? How can I learn from the outer world and apply that learning to my own life? And how can I find the courage to both give and receive gracefully? Look at that. What a beautiful message today. I love the image on this card. This woman is intertwined with this tree, mm. not afraid to actually flow with it and grow with it. Yeah. I love it. 
So look at that, everyone. So we're going to go ahead and pull an angel number for you as well. So those of you that have been seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what we get here for Aries today. This is wanting to come out. So the void. Look Ooh. at that. Some of you must be experiencing the void or might be experiencing the void. So it has the number zero on this. So perhaps you're seeing the number zeros. Freedom from limitations, all right? Freedom from limitations is coming through. Uh, this need to release and let go. Mercy, breakthrough. Some of you are going to experience a breakthrough this coming month here in the month of March, I feel. Um, some of you are experiencing waiting. Uh, the calm before you're in the eye of the storm, yeah. the calm before um, things may get a little bit chaotic here. Remember that change is the only constant. If you're able, able to uh, develop a relationship with change and not be afraid of it, rather face it head on and kind of be flexible and adaptable, um, mold into what is kind of going on and not be afraid. Mm -hmm. I always find that sometimes change can be daunting for some, right? So... There you have it. Is there anything that you wanted to mention or say there, honey? <laughs> Change is uncomfortable. So if you can learn to embrace discomfort, yes, the old adage, then you'll embrace change. A lot of times we like our comfort and I don't blame you. Comfort's pretty awesome. Yep. But we can't have it all the time. No. Nope. Otherwise we'll never change and grow and learn and teach. Cycle exactly. of life. Right. Cycle of life. So this is your reading today, Aries. We're going to move on to Taurus now. So hello, our beautiful Taurus friends. How are you today? We're going to have Paul open your reading up with a Oracle card from the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. We can make a song out of this shuffling <laughs> if we wanted to, like, beatbox or something. Beatbox that shuffle. <laughs> All right. I'll get good at this eventually, I promise. Okay, we are pulling Don't Give Up. We've got a fox here. The mm. fox will not give up until he's fed himself. Don't give up. It's okay that things don't always feel easy and effortless. Some of the best moments in life happen during and after hard times. Keep believing. Look at that. And don't give up. Taurus, if have any of you seen a fox? This is your confirmation today. Be sly and clever like the fox, mm -hmm. right? So look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull a surrender card for you. Some of you, um, actually, what am I saying here now? Yeah, it is surrender. Release and uh, surrender. What is it that uh, our beautiful Taurus friends need to surrender and release in their lives? Let's find out. All right, surrender your belief in scarcity. Mm -hmm. So look at that. We had this for Capricorn, right? right? So look at that. Surrender your belief in scarcity. The message on this card is the universe is asking you to open to infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So mindset here is going to be very important. Yeah, absolutely. Um, living in that mindset of positivity, of growth and abundance. Uh, those of you that haven't grabbed my 14-day mindset challenge ebook, it is in the description box below. Uh, this will really help you uh, start that journey. So we're going to now pull. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, I was going to say I highly recommend it. It's a great book. <laughs> Uh, we're going to pull a healing message for you as well, Taurus. So Paul's going to go ahead and do that. This comes with little animals and numbers on the cards. You are getting Protect Your Boundaries. Number is 38, and it is a gorgeous... Uh, what kind of dog is that? Is that a dog or a bear? Uh, it's, it's a bear dog. A bear it's dog. It's like a really bushy dog or like a really skinny bear. Yeah. So... Either way... Looks like a great friend. It says, keep your space sacred. Say yes when you mean yes, and no when you mean no. Affirmation says, it is safe for me to set boundaries. I'm gonna think that it's more of a bear, because bear right. would set boundaries. They're like, yeah. I need to hibernate, I'm setting my boundary. So protect your boundaries. So if you've seen a bear, this is your confirmation today. If you're seeing a bear, remember this message. Also, the number 38 is on this card. This could be a number of significance for some of you. Those of you looking for timing, 38 days or three to eight days, three to eight weeks, 
three to eight months around the message of this card. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull an Oracle message from the Soul Mirror Oracle deck. This is a reflection deck. And uh, Paul's going to read the interpretation. It also comes with journaling prompts. So that's that reflection journaling prompt message there. So let's see what we get for you, Taurus. All right, so we are getting transformation, repressed and activated. So I don't know if any of you are seeing moths, but this almost feels like this uh, metamorphosis mm -hmm. energy coming through that some of you might be experiencing. This is a time of deep transformation and a cellular level soul activation. Wow, this Your body may feel unsteady, your mind confused, and your spirit distanced. Take care of yourself and trust the process. The world eagerly awaits your rebirth and know that the universe is conspiring in your favor. You are the universe. Allow time to rest, recuperate, and surrender to this process, even though it may seem or feel difficult. Give yourself grace and nurture yourself during this time of important growth. Allow any fears to pass through and slip away. They certainly will pass with your love and understanding. They will shift with ease because of you honor who you are becoming. You will experience life as though through a new filter. Your senses will be heightened. Your perspective will have changed. Your relationships may shift and the world around you will be different to how you once saw it. See this as a blessing and an indication of how much progress you've made towards your true self and everything you have to offer. The world is waiting for you. Wow. The journal reflection says, in what ways have you already noticed shifts in your perspective, relationships, or how you perceive the world around you? How can you create space for rest and self-compassion as you move through this transformative process? And what are some signs that you're making progress towards embracing your true self? Wow. I love this. Uh, I love this deck. I love the reflections on this as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull an angel number for you, Taurus. So those of you seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what we get here for mm. Taurus. Change of plans. So look at that number 4848. 48. If you've been seeing these numbers, this is your confirmation. Some of you are going through a change of plans. Some of you without even knowing it. So the message on, well, let's do the number here. So yeah. those of you looking for timing, uh, 48 days, also four to eight days, four to eight weeks, four to eight months around this message. Um, those of you are seeing fours and eights as well. So you are being guided on a new path. Some of you might be experiencing a career change change in relationship somewhere you're also in the midst of manifesting so sometimes when manifestations are taking formation it brings about change in our lives you're going to also experience prosperity coming in as well things are working out well for you so know that taurus so look at that how beautiful so we are now moving on to the sign of gemini so hello our beautiful gemini friends how are you thank you so much for being here with us so paul is going to open up your reading with an oracle card from the enchanted forest oracle deck mm -hmm. do, 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 do. here we go and we are getting do it your way Three little fairies doing it their way. It's playful energy there Very too. Very playful. So, you were never meant to fit in. You were born to be wild and free and a force of nature. You're here to build new and better worlds. Allow yourself to go and do that. Exactly, Gemini. Do you it your just way. go and do it your way. That's I'm a Gemini, life, Gemini, sun and rising. So yeah, I tend to do things my way. <laughs> so look at that i love this playful energy on this card it's just so cute it reminds me of when i was a child yeah uh if, wild ria back then i like my my personal philosophy is if if at first i don't succeed then do it the way my wife would yes we have that sign in our kitchen just to make sure everyone knows <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> so i'm gonna pull a surrender card for you gemini those of you that need to release or surrender something in your life, this might resonate for you today. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look and see what we get. 
All right, we are getting surrender to effortlessness. So look at that surrender to mm. effortlessness. I'll read you the message on this card. Stop pushing so hard, Gemini. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. It's like jumping at waves, like I'm always doing in That's Mexico. That's what you were doing, yes. Jumping at waves, really big, ferocious <laughs> waves at that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So Somehow. yeah, surrender to effortlessness. I'm afraid of water, so I wasn't able to experience that. Go with the flow and do it your way. Exactly. So Paul's going to pull a healing message for you mm -hmm. as well. Do you want to shuffle Gemini. This one? Sure, I can do that. Can you the Gemini? Sure. Now these cards come with animals and numbers on them. So you might be seeing these somewhere in your life, uh, Gemini. Just remember the message of this card. I think we have one flipped over here, so I think this is yeah. But that's okay. We'll flip it back the other way. So we are getting... Become the work of the divine. And I believe that is a squirrel. That is a squirrel. So look at that. it's got a bigger tail. And Squirrely oh. says, Surrender to the path that's calling you. Allow the divine to create through you. Be a vessel for love and miracles. And the affirmation says, I allow divine miracles to flow through me so become the work of the divine and those of you that are seeing a squirrel or the number 47 remember the message of this card those of you looking for timing around this number 47 days also four to seven days four to seven weeks and four to seven months so look at that Sweet. all right so we're going to go ahead and pull an oracle card, your bonus card here from the Soul Mirror Oracle deck. Paul's going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. It also comes with um, some journaling prompts. I'm going to go ahead and use that because it didn't okay. fall to the ground. Yeah, it fell on my lap. So because this didn't fall to the ground, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Um, it comes with journaling prompts. So Paul's going to read that to you. Teaching, withheld, and giving. So I think we had another sign that had this as well. So there's mm -hmm. this intertwining energy here, which I absolutely love. Now is an opportunity to learn and teach, to receive from and give to the flow of the universe. Embrace the human experience of sacred learning in the 3D realm with an open heart and a loving mindset. And you will reap rewards and benefits of divine intelligence. Our lives flow in waves of experiences and circumstances, all of which offer a choice of teaching and learning or sharing versus withholding and ignoring. When you desire to share, you're giving the gift of knowledge and energetically opening yourself to learning. When you desire to withhold, you cut off your ability to receive, learn, and grow, removing yourself from that flow of knowledge. We're all here on earth to learn from each other and to teach. Our outer world is an inner world's most important teacher. It constantly reflects sacred knowledge for our expansion and healing as human beings in the most practical of ways. Being human gives us the opportunity to experience fast track learning through the heavier 3D realm, which is ever so clear and evident through our physical bodies. May we use our time here to share, teach, grow, and learn in all facets and blessings. The reflection journal prompt says, what actions can I take to open myself up and share with others? How can I learn from the outer world and apply that learning to my own life? And how can I find the courage to both give and receive gracefully? So there you have it. That is your reflection bonus message today, Gemini. So we're going to go ahead and pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So we are getting for you, Gemini, motivation, one, 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 one. So those of you that are seeing ones around, 11s on a clock, this three is your ones. confirmation today. Yeah, three ones. <laughs> so motivation, the message on this card today is you have the strength to make your own decisions, Gemini. Connect to your purpose. Doors are opening for you that have opportunities in them, uh, opened to opportunities, allowing yourself to be open and receptive to everything that the universe is sending your way. So I love this. One, one, one. One, one, one. There you have it, Gemini. So we are now on to the sign of Cancer. Hello, our beautiful Cancer friends. How are you? We're going to have Paul open up your reading. 
with an oracle card from wow. the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. So, yeah, if you can carry these messages around with you, Cancer. Mm -hmm. Split. Here's what we've got for you, Cancer. We've got Don't Give Up. It is a fox. We got the fox the again. Fox is not yes. giving up. No. It's okay that things don't always feel easy and effortless. Some of the best moments in life happen during and after hard times. Keep on believing. Keep on believing. Cancer. So I don't know if any of you have seen a fox. This is your confirmation today. Again, uh, just remember the message of this card when you do see a fox. Cancer. Don't give up. Don't give up. All right, I'm going to now pull a surrender card for you, Cancer. We're going to see what it is that spirit would like you to surrender or release and let go of. So let's take a look and see what we get. All right, so surrender to your soul's path, hmm. Cancer. Your life's journey, so take a look at this. I love this. There's a lot of green here, a lot of forest. So I do feel for some of you, you're meant to connect with nature. The more you can spend time around nature, the better it's going to be for you. So your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and enjoy every moment. So look at this. Hmm. What a beautiful message. Yeah, I love that. So we're going to now pull a healing message for you as well, Cancer. Paul's going to go ahead and do that. Now this tarot deck or this oracle deck comes with little animals and numbers on them. So those of you that are seeing the numbers or animals, remember the message of this healing deck, okay? Or this healing card. And we've got, it's time to discover new ways. It's the number two and it's a cute little piggy. Look at that. Little piggy. Little piggy. It says, be curious. Break free from old routines and have fun exploring new things. The affirmation says, I'm open to trying new paths. <laughs> and let me tell you, pigs love discovering. They are one of the most curious oh, yeah. animals I've ever seen. So those of you that are seeing little piggies, this is your confirmation today. And uh, the number two could be a number of significance for some of you. So two days, two weeks, two months for those of you looking for timing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull a reflection card. This is the Soul Mirror Oracle deck. Paul's going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. And it comes with a reflection journaling prompt, which he's going to read to you as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So are we ready? Let's do it. Inner child, careless and receptive. Look at that, cancer. Inner child. Mm -hmm. Your inner child holds the answers to your deepest questions and yearnings. Invite them to reveal their wisdom and you will gain a broader perspective of the world, transcending conventional limitations. Your inner child is still with you and you are still with your inner child. They are pure, made from loving intention and light. Your inner child keeps you for a bounty of knowledge. Oh, <laughs> your inner child keeps for you a bounty of knowledge and teachings through which you have an immediate divine access to deep or lost understanding. Throughout life, our childhood scars can reopen. Often we don't know where the pain stems from. And this is your inner child trying to talk to you, asking for help and offering in return gifts of innate wisdom from a pure source truth. When you embrace your inner child, you embrace every part of yourself in all time frames. Your understanding of the world expands and evolves from a linear one-way perspective to a multi-dimensional experience. You'll tackle problems with a new suite of creative solutions accessed through a different way of being. Your inner child is a spark of divinity within, bringing with them deep-rooted knowledge from all layers of your past. From your Your inner child is a spark of divinity within, bringing with them deep-rooted knowledge from all layers of your being, past, present, and future. <laughs> the, the Reflection Journal says, Can I take the time to listen to the messages my inner child is trying to communicate to me? How can I embrace my inner child so I can tap into the gifts of innate wisdom and understanding? How can I access the deep-rooted knowledge within me from all layers of my being? There you have it. That is your reflection message today, Cancer. So I always find that too. Sometimes when I'm reading, yeah. my eyes want to read even ahead it's, of what I'm actually reading. Yeah, <laughs> I respect the challenge. 
Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull an angel number for you, Cancer. So those of you that are seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see uh, what we get here. All right. All right. Motivation. Look at that, Cancer. So Gemini just, just there, received yeah, that that's as right. well. So triple one. I don't know if any of you are seeing ones in your life. This is your confirmation today. Uh, those of you looking for timing, we're getting 11 days, 11 weeks and 11 months. Uh, I forgot to actually mention that for Gemini. That's so okay. that's all right. You have the strength to make decisions right now, Cancer. So decide on what it is that you want, my friends. Connection to your purpose. Also, uh, there is a connection to your purpose right now. Open to opportunities. You are open to opportunities. Uh, it's now time for you to walk through those doors. All right, Cancer. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. Now we're moving on to the sign of Leo. Hello, our Leo friends. How are you? Thank you so much for being here today. We're going to have Paul open up your reading right, with an oracle message from the Enchanted Forest Oracle. Oracle deck. Oh, I love this. These oh, magic down, yeah. intention candles. My sister in law Katomi makes them from this home. So, if any of you are interested, we are going to do another full moon next month. You can find these in the description box below. And we are getting whatever you wish. And Leo. it is a picture of a dragon. Wow, we're in the year of the dragon right now, and you are receiving a dragon. So I don't know if any of you are seeing dragons in your life right now. This is your confirmation. Whatever you wish. When you lessen the importance of problems and suffering, life will swing back into balance. Stop the struggle and feel peace. The world responds to you. The world responds to you, Leo. So look at that. What I'm going to do now is uh, pull a surrender card for you, Leo. What is it that you need to surrender or release out of your life? Mm -hmm. My moon is in the sign of Leo. So it's exciting. Cool. Whatever you wish. She is. We just set a wish, an intention in that candle today. So see what we get mm. here for you, Leo. Surrender to wonder and awe. So look at this. Surrender to wonder and awe. Let's read the message on this card. Open to the magic of every moment. Open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. Mm. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. Wow. So that's beautiful, right? So what we're going to do now is pull a healing message for you. So Paul's going to go ahead and do that. Now, these cards come with little animals and numbers. So if you're seeing them, remember the message of this healing card. Okay. Okay. And we are getting... Open yourself to the present. It's the number 54. And we've got a little deer. It's a deer. A cute little deer. Cute we little get deer. deer in our yard all the time. So we see this sign a lot mm -hmm. and we keep ourselves open to the present. It says, live in the here and now. Receive the gift this moment holds for you. And the affirmation says, I enjoy my life moment by moment. Lovely. So again, if you're seeing a deer, this is your confirmation today. Also the number 54. This could be a number of significance for some of you. Timing 54 days, also five to four days, five to four weeks and five to four months around the message of this card for you today. So what we're going to do next is pull a reflection card. Paul's going to read the interpretation from the guidebook. This is a soul mirror oracle deck and uh, it comes with a journaling prompt which are the reflection messages, which mm -hmm. Paul will read to you as well. So feel free to write these down, Leo. All right, so we are getting search, external and internal. So look at that. Perhaps some of you are on the search for something. Hmm. Look no further. Your search has ended. You have found what you are looking for, and it is you. <laughs> <laughs> Your external search is a reflection of the parts of yourself you have yet to embrace. Be the master of your own reality, the impeccable creatress, weaving life with your own unique gifts. You are an immaculate and perfect creator of our shared reality. So step into your authentic being so that your truth and your light can illuminate and join hand in hand with the beautiful mosaic of life. If you're still searching for the outer world, 
reflect on these external needs and desires as they're calling to you what you are not perceiving within yourself. Your external search is in fact a search for a part of you that you don't recognize or see. The external validation, seeking, blaming, or wanting is what keeps you from being you. Release the self-imposed cage of seeking outside of yourself. When you do, everything in the external realm will naturally find you because you found yourself and it will reflect this. So hold your space, feel your calm, and bring your peace. Trust that everything will flow lovingly your way. You have everything you need inside you. And the journal reflection says, what do my external needs and desires say about me and what I'm not perceiving within myself? What self-imposed cage of seeking do I need to release in order to see my true self? And how can I trust and believe that I have everything I need within me? So there you have it. Leo, that is your reflection message today. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull an angel number for you. So some of you have been seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation mm -hmm. and guidance today. So let's see what we get here for Leo. Happiness and joy, the number 2323. 23. If you've been seeing these numbers, this is your confirmation today. Those of you looking for timing, 23 days. 23 weeks and 23 months. So the message on this card is all is working for the best for you, Leo. You are under divine protection. You're being uplifted at this time and your prayers are being answered. So look at that. Embrace that happiness and joy in your life in this present moment, Leo. This is really going to make a huge impact on your life. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the sign of Virgo. So hello, our beautiful Virgo friends. How are you? Welcome back. We're going to have Paul open up your reading today with an Oracle card from the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. Indeed. So would, there you are. Would you like to shuffle this one this time? Of course. Just to keep it fresh. Sure. All right. Let's see what we get here. Here we go. There you have it. We are getting da, 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 da. make room. <laughs> and we've got a wolf, a wolf that's kind of hiding in the shrubs. So I don't know if any of you have seen a wolf, wolf recently. Uh, Virgo, this is your confirmation today. Create space to welcome positive change into your life. Let go of everything that doesn't align with the future that you're creating. Make room. That wolf of success is about to come out of the bushes. Ooh, this is nice. So clearing out your path, making room, allowing that light to shine through, that inspiration, that awareness that's bringing in all these beautiful things. So, uh, sorry, I'm actually pulling a surrender card here. What am I doing? I'm going off uh, itinerary here. What is going on? So Virgo, we're going to pull a <laughs> surrender card for you. So what is it that my beautiful Virgo friends need to surrender or release in their lives? This all one's right. important, Virgo. Surrender to non-action. So look at that. We have a unicorn woman. So I don't know if any of you are seeing a unicorn. Uh, this is your confirmation today. So surrender to non-action, Virgo. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. Okay, very powerful words here of non-action. So make some room and then allow others to come to you. Yes. They will fill that space. So there you have it. So now for a healing message. So these cards come with a cute little animal and some numbers. So anytime you're seeing these animals or numbers, Virgo, remember the message of this healing card. You're kidding. Faith requires trust. Mm. And it's a cute little blue-eyed tiger. Oh, I don't know if any of you have seen a tiger. This is your confirmation today. And you're going to see one. And when you do, just to remember the message on this card. I should have moved that. That's okay. No, we're getting Sorry, along. Honey. We're getting along. The number is 53, 5 or 3. Faith requires trust. Believe and trust that life has your highest good at heart. Move forward with faith. The affirmation says, life supports me unconditionally. So... 53. There you have it. 53 is the number on this card. So this could be a number of significance for some of you. Those of you looking for timing, I'm getting 53 days. Also five to three days, five to three weeks, and five to three months around this message. Mm. 
So what we're going to do now, uh, Virgo, is we're going to pull a reflection card for you. Paul's going to read you the interpretation from the Soul Mirror Oracle deck. This is the deck we're using. Now, this deck also comes with journaling prompts, which are reflection messages. So Paul's going to go ahead and read that to you as well. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we get here for Virgo. All right, Virgo, we are getting unveiling, clouded and radiant. So look at that. This is a really cool image. I really like this. It's kind of like things are in the darkness and you're kind of peeking through here, Virgo. So I, I love this. It's like looking through a keyhole. Yes. Seeing the bigger picture or the truth. It's time for you to be vulnerably naked with yourself and the outside world. The chrysalis is opening. The bud is on the cusp of bloom, and the dawn is on the horizon. You have outgrown your old perceptions. You are ready to evolve and fully welcome your unveiled self. Try not to close yourself off through fear of change or rejection. Changes and cycles are inherent in life's true and glorious nature. Your unveiling is the world's reflection of being alive. Now. We have the option to move through this experience with self-love or to restrict ourselves by resisting growth and evolution, ultimately harboring dis-ease. As you open yourself to new perspectives and allow for growth and evolution, you open yourself to a world of endless radiant possibilities. This is a time for you to surrender and trust the path ahead, freeing yourself from any self-imposed limitations or fears and embracing the limitless potential of your unfolding journey. Allow yourself to fully embrace this new chapter, knowing that it will bring forth immense growth and understanding. There are many opportunities that await you in this new perspective. More findings, learnings, growth, and journeys in your evolution. It's time to open. Let yourself go and be truly free. And it says for the Reflection Journal, what new opportunities and growth might be made possible by opening to this new perspective? What old perceptions do I need to outgrow to evolve and accept my unveiled radiant self? And am I embracing the journey of evolution and growth in my life? Beautiful. I love this. So I feel like this woman is coming out of the darkness into the light. This is really nice. I love this. So that is your reflection message today, Virgo. What we're going to do now is pull an angel number for you. So those of you that are seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So Virgo, we are getting a foundation. So look at that, the number four. So it's all about laying those solid foundations in all areas of your life. This is about putting some roots in the ground and living in integrity with your beliefs and your values. So the number four also has to do with manifestation in numerology. So some of you are uh, manifesting here, very powerful manifestations that are coming through for you. So timing four days, four weeks, and four months, you are building a solid base right now, uh, Virgo, in your physical body, your health, your work, your relationships, your home, and your values, okay? So it's time for you to put those roots in the ground. So this is your message today. I hope it resonates with you. We are now on to the sign of Libra. So Libra, my beautiful friends, how are you? Thank you so much for being here. We are going to open your reading today. Paul's actually going to do that with an oracle deck. This is the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. These are beautiful cards, by the way. They are beautiful. I love using these cards on my channel here. You can see which one I use the most. Um, I always find they have the most beautiful messages. Mm -hmm. Trust your feelings. And we've got a little forest drow kind of elfin character. Trust your feelings. Those gut instincts, your feelings, they will uh, never steer you wrong. Most, most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> you are unique. Your destiny is waiting for you to write your story and pave your own path. Follow your heart. Don't let others dictate who you should be. I think when it says trust your feelings, it's like your intuition. Yeah. Like listen to your heart. It, it's not trying to steer you in the wrong direction. It's not trying to satisfy your ego. Yeah. That, th that level of feelings. Um, a lot of times we get envy and resentment and bitterness and those aren't 
as trustworthy, I feel no, like. <laughs> exactly. And those but, ones you want to watch for when you are feeling those to center yourself and allow those to pass through and not to hold on to them, mm -hmm. right? So what we're going to do now is pull a surrender card for you, Libra. So what is it that you need to surrender or release out of your life? So let's see what we get wow. here for you. You're so good at shuffling. You're, and I'm just always impressed every time you do it. <laughs> Thank you. So Libra, surrender obsessive thinking. Mm. So I feel that's in alignment with the opening card here. Yeah. So surrender obsessive thinking. Now the message on this card is if you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. Mm. So look at that. Sometimes it's hard to kind of resolve an issue. So sometimes what I do is I just kind of let it go and release it. Like, here you go, spirit. You take care of it. I'm going to keep moving forward. Or sometimes you're looking too closely at the issue. Yeah, And like you just need here. to get back a bit and get a bit of perspective. And suddenly you see all the context around it. And you're like, oh, why didn't I see the yeah. obvious solution that was exactly. right in front of me? Because I was too close and I was over obsessing it. That's another one. So there you go. Thank you, honey, yeah. for that. So surrender obsessive thinking. What we're going to do now is we are going to pull a healing message for you Libra so these cards come with cute little animals and numbers if you're seeing these animals or numbers this is going to give you your confirmation today but also to remember the message of these healing cards an escaper oh look at that this one cool. love escapers it says trust the eternal abundant spirit it's a little bunny and it's the number 30 three zero there you go spirit has your back have faith and allow yourself to receive life's bountiful blessings. The affirmation says, I am infinitely cared and provided for. So that Look is great. That. That is, uh, that's a pretty happy card. Right? And uh, bunny rabbits. We've got the number 30 here on this card. This could be a number of significance for some of you. Those of you looking for timing, 30 days, also three days, three weeks, and three months. So that is your healing message. We are now going to pull a reflection card for you today, Libra. So Paul's going to read you the interpretation. This is the Soul Mirror Oracle deck. It comes with journaling prompts as reflection message mm -hmm. messages. So Paul's going to read those to you as well. So let's see what we get here for All Libra. Right. Communication, stifled and communicative. So look at that. Embrace the beauty of clear communication. Let your inner being shine through in all that you do. Communicate with honesty and clarity, knowing that this reflection of your true self will attract prosperity, health, and enlightenment. Your communication is the outer projection of your inner being. It is where we externally transfer the energy of our thoughts and feelings out into the universe. And it's important to reflect on our emotions with complete honesty because that process will be reflected in the world through our expression and communication. When you deny your true feelings, this denial is expressed and then met outside of you with confusion and misunderstanding. Mm. You're essentially suppressing and stalling your wants, needs, and true self by holding back your truth. Withholding a part of yourself can create disharmony in the physical body and disease in the long term. Your body reflects the call of your heart and tries to pass it on to your brain. So listen and honor this communication and be grateful for its guidance. Our bodies are immaculate and perfect vessels, tuned delicately to all parts of our being. Together with our bodies, our minds, spirits, and environments, they constantly work to reflect information to us about our well-being and guide us back to our true path. Act on the signals your body and surroundings are communicating to you and foster inner growth, spiritual abundance, and your own well-being. And the journal reflection says, what is it that I need to understand within myself to communicate my needs? How can I effectively communicate my needs and desires to others and freely express myself in a way that feels authentic and true to who I am? So there you go, Libra. That is your reflection message. What we're going to do now is pull an angel number for you. So those of you that are seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what we get here for you, Libra. Be comforted. 
36, 36. So those of you that are seeing the number 36, threes and sixes, know that you are being comforted right now. Those of you looking for timing, 36 days, also three to six days, three to six weeks and three to six months. You are receiving support during hard times. This is through your spirit guides and those around you. If you feel that you're not supported, Libra, ask your spirit guides to bring that support in. You also have divine guidance. Self-love is going to be very important for you, taking care of yourself and bringing yourself to that inner peace, finding that inner sanctuary, developing that inner sanctuary where you can create peace, like just that calm to release anything. So this is your message today. I hope it resonates for you. So we are now on to the sign of Scorpio. So hello, our Scorpio friends. How are you? We're going to have Paul open your reading today with an Oracle card from the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. Uh, these sometimes come with animals on the cards. So anytime you're seeing them, remember the message of this Oracle card today. All right. And we are getting inner strength. We've got a little fairy. A little fairy. So I don't know if any of you have seen fairies recently in your life. Or in any cool TV shows that you watch, maybe. Mm, Inner know. strength. Don't lose yourself in things that you can't change. Focus on the things you can change. Attitude, mindset, and energy. You've got everything you need. So look at that. I love this for you today. Inner strength. Inner strength. So what we're going to do now is pull a surrender card for you, Scorpio. So what is it that you need to surrender? What is it that you need to release and let go of? Let's take a look here. We are getting a surrender to success. Yep. So look at that. Surrender to success, <laughs> Scorpio. I'm going to read you the message on this card. It's a mirror reflecting. So you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. So Scorpio, jump in, take that leap of faith, explore the possibilities here. There's so much that is going on for you right now. All right, we are now going to pull a healing message. These healing messages come with cute little animals and numbers on the card. So anytime you're seeing these numbers or animals, remember the message of this card. Today we're getting, ooh, I've never seen this one, Simplify Life. And it's a really cute cat sleeping on a pile of books, the most comfortable bed known to man. Dreaming of a fish. Dreaming. <laughs> dreaming. It is dreaming of a fish. Mm -hmm. um, let go of what you no longer need. Eliminate clutter and don't make things too complicated. Less is more. And the number is five and the affirmation says, I enjoy the simple pleasures of life. I really like this card. <laughs> right? And the number five, this could be a number of significance for some of you. So those of you looking for timing and dates, we're getting five days, five weeks, five months. But also in numerology, the number five is tied to change. So this is where spirit guides are calling you to be flexible and adaptable during any kind of changes in your life, no matter how big or small they are. Change can sometimes throw us out of our comfort zone. So some of you might be experiencing that right now. So hold strong, everyone. Hopefully it's a... If it's a change to simplify life, it's a positive exactly. simplification. All right. So we are now going to pull a reflection card for you. I'm so sorry, honey. I should have pulled that. <laughs> no, no, that no it's okay. It's a, it's a little sign. I didn't sign. even like organize well, my, my head whole bumps space it. here. <laughs> no, I like this, this, uh, com this coziness. So closer. Get closer yeah. to me, honey. Exactly. So this is a reflection deck. Paul is going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. Uh, it also comes with some journaling prompts. He's going to read those to you. Mm -hmm. So let's see what it is that you need to hear today. Scorpio. All right, so we are getting judgment, judgment, critical and complimentary. And we got fish in this card as well. We had that on your healing message. So, fish, maybe some it's of you have theme. been seeing fish. Time yeah. to go fishing. Judgment. Let your words be a gift of love, a benediction to those you meet in your own spirit. Let your judgment be swayed by the power of kindness. Your words carry energy that shapes your reality and is reflected back to you. Using your own judgment to navigate through life is a crucial and necessary skill to master. However, the act of judging others is something we need to be mindful of. Not only is it sapping your vital energy, but it also mirrors how we actually judge ourselves 
and creates a world built on fear instead of love. So be conscious of your external dialogue and how you speak about or to others, as this reflects how you think about yourself. Our words, both inner and outer, cast spells and create an invisible vessel carrying the energy of those words out into the universe. This is one of the marvels of human creation here on Earth. We are all word magicians, and our invisible magic is cast through what we say, spelling, yep. and continuously reflected back to us in 3D forms over time throughout the interface of the world. So be sure to craft your words from love, as a blessing you bestow into others and thus yourself. Let your judgment be swayed by understanding, grace, and compassion. And the Reflection Journal says, how am I perceiving the situation at hand? Can I shift from a critical and belittling outlook to a more encouraging and supportive one? Can I choose to approach my interactions with love and understanding? So there you have it, Scorpio. That is your reflection message. So what I'm going to do now is pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what we get here for you. Heed the signs, Scorpio 30, 30. So some of you may have been seeing the number 30, threes and zeros. This is your confirmation today. Those of you looking for uh, timing, we're getting 30 days, also three days, three weeks and three months. Heed the signs, Scorpio. Don't ignore divine guidance. Some of you are receiving premonitions through dreams, through intuitive downloads. It's now for you. It's now time for you to start taking steps. Move with grace. You're being given foresight. So lots of power coming in. Wow. Allow yourself to be a channel for spirit to communicate through you and guide you. Right? So sorry, honey. I just... No, it's going to say it feels like there's something important that, that Scorpio yes. wants to do. Yes, so. there definitely is. So... Pay attention to everything around you right now, Scorpio. So what we're going to do is uh, move on to now Sagittarius, the last sign. Then we're going to pull the strings of abundance. So hello, our beautiful Sagittarius friends. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. Paul is going to open up your reading today with an oracle card from the Enchanted Forest Oracle deck. Oh my goodness, this full moon is amazing. I feel it's bringing in a lot of really good changes for all of us. Mm -hmm. And this says to stay true. And it's a lady rising from the water. Looks like a pond. Like a little pond. The need for validation from others is an illusion. You are not responsible for how others perceive you. But it is your responsibility to stay true to yourself. So stay true. Sagittarius. All right. So that is your message. Please carry this with you, Sagittarius. So what we're going to do now is pull a surrender card for you. So what is it that my beautiful Sagittarius friends need to hear today? What mm -hmm. is it that you need to surrender, let go and release in your life? All right. So we are getting surrender obsessive thinking. So we're getting this twice now. Mm -hmm. So look at this. This image here, someone looking at something way too the, close. Too to, close to the apple to see. The bigger picture. It's not a planet. It's just an apple. Yeah. So the message on this card is, if you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help you bring clarity or even solve the problem. So look at that. Just hand it over to spirit or take a step or a couple steps back. Get some perspective. Yeah. I think this will really help. A lot of times what seems like a huge problem is actually just 11 smaller problems in disguise. You can break them down into those 11 single problems and solve them one at a time. Exactly. So what we're going to do now is pull a healing message for you. So these cards come with uh, a cute little animal and numbers. Mm -hmm. And uh, those of you that are seeing these animals or numbers in your life, just remember the message on this card. Okay. okay. So Sagittarius. What are you getting? You've got... You have already arrived, and it's a cute little blue-eyed monkey. Oh, so cute. He is very cute. What you desire is available to you now. Celebrate the beauty of this moment. The affirmation says, I celebrate how far I've come. So look at that, Sagittarius. Congrats. So if you're seeing a little monkey or the number 56, this is your confirmation today. Those of you looking for timing, 56 days around this message also 
five to six days, five to six weeks, and five to six months. Mm. All right, so we are now going to pull a reflection message for you. This is the Soul Mirror Oracle deck. Paul is going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. It also comes with journaling prompts. So as Paul reads them, you can uh, feel free to write them down, Sagittarius. So let's see what we get here. My shuffling skills. Uh, bananas. Judgment. Judgment again. Critical and complimentary. So we've got fish on this card. This woman is on a beach. So perhaps some of you are planning a trip to the beach or you're being asked to be near water, Sagittarius. Let your words be a gift of love, a benediction to those you meet and your own spirit. Let your judgment be swayed by the power of kindness. Your words carry energy that shapes your reality and is reflected back to you. Using your own judgment to navigate through life is a crucial and necessary skill to master. However, the act of judging others is something that we need to be mindful of. Not only is it sapping your vital energy, but it also mirrors how we judge ourselves and creates a world built on fear instead of love. Be conscious of your external dialogue and how you speak about or to others as this reflects how you actually think about yourself. Our words, both inner and outer, cast spells and create an invisible vessel, carrying the energy of those words out into the universe. This is one of the marvels of human creation here on Earth. We are all magicians, and our invisible magic is cast through what we say by a spelling and continuously reflected back to us in 3D forms over time throughout the interface of the world. So be sure to craft your words from love as a blessing you bestow onto others and thus yourself. Let your judgment be swayed by understanding, grace, and compassion. And the reflection journal says, how am I perceiving the situation at hand? Can I shift from a critical and belittling outlook to a more encouraging and supportive one? Can I choose to approach my interactions with love and understanding? So there you have it, Sagittarius. That is your reflection message. So remember, your words have power and have magic, all right? So they have weight. Weight, exactly. Now I'm going to pull an angel number for you. So those of you that have been seeing repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. Mm. So let's see what we get here for you, Sagittarius. So letting go, the number 2929. So if you've been seeing these numbers, this is your confirmation today. Those of you looking for timing, 29 days with this card, also two to nine days, two to nine weeks, and two to nine months. So the message here is your losses become your gains, Sagittarius. You have the potential uh, to create anything that you want. You're also, some of you, starting over. It's now time for you to bury the past and embrace new adventures in your life. So look at this. It's time to let go and move forward. So this is your message today. I hope it resonates for you. What we're going to do now to close off this uh, full moon ritual mm -hmm. is to pull the strings of abundance. So take a moment here. If you are able to go by a window where you can see the moon or even outside, mm -hmm. you don't necessarily have to be around the full moon. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, you know, this reading is really visualization good. visualization technique. Exactly. And um, the full moon's energy is going to be prominent until the new moon next month. Okay. So feel free to pull the strings of abundance anytime you feel like. So what we're going to do is visualize, manifest, set an intention, and put that into the moon here so if you're able to visualize it and then imagine strings coming down from the moon and pulling each of those strings down to you into your life and what you want to do here everyone is take these strings of abundance and wrap them around yourself this is what i do this is what paul does and it works for us so you're going to see a lot of positivity coming into your life inspiration awareness clarity intuition dreams pay attention to all of this so feel free to walk around your home as you are wrapped with these strings. And what you can do also is use water in your life, especially around the full moon. Water has magic. Mm -hmm. 
Um, if you're able to take a shower or take a bath at night and wash away the energy of the day um, and before you go to bed just write down the things that you want to release and let go of before you go to bed but also uh, implement or write uh, what it is that you're wanting to bring forth into your life here to manifest Any focused wishes? intention yeah focused intention that's so important and powerful. Is there Absolutely. anything you want to share as well, Paul? Just, yeah, it's, it all starts with focused intention so that you know what it is you want to visualize. Only through visualizing what you actually want and having that focused intention does it set your brain on that course to recognize the opportunities in the larger world. And once you see those opportunities in the larger world, you can capitalize on that by taking action. And that's the three steps of manifestation. Law of attraction from visualization Recognizing opportunity, taking action. Do those three, rinse and repeat, and, uh, and watch your life change for the better. So there you have it, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for being here, and until the next time. Thank you so much for doing this, and including me, and I appreciate seeing everyone and uh, chatting with everyone in the chats. Uh, please have a wonderful full moon and uh, a wonderful March. Bye, everyone.